All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another special video. So today I wanted to talk about some items that you should never buy on the Pearl Shop. And the reasoning why is some of these items you can actually craft in game. So hopefully you guys save your real life money and just make it in game. I know a lot of stuff on the store is convenience and ultimately my stance on if you are buying outfits for cosmetics, I don't care what you do, but it's like when you get to the pay to win side, it's a little bit different. But for the most part, I think it's fine. But some of these items are definitely earned in game more than buying. So hopefully it saves you some money. And in no particular order, I have a list of things I want to talk about. But if you are new and you're wondering, first of all, the loyalties are the ones you get in game. So like every day you log in, you get like 200 loyalties. Sometimes they give it more for events and everything. Um, so this is like in-game one and for all of you who are wondering what you should get out of these is probably weight limit for your class because i think weight is a very important thing for all of your classes and after that it's um probably stuff that will add to your account permanently versus a temporary usable item so probably in my opinion highest priority would be to wait and then after that like worker lodging and everything else so that goes into our first thing of what we're trying to save money on, which is weight and inventory. So as you all know, in video games, weight and inventory is a very standard thing. That's how a lot of games make a lot of their money. Um, and you don't actually need a lot of them. I think if you were to pick weight or inventory, weight is definitely worth more and it'll help you in the longer run. So let me give you a real example. This is my main character's inventory. Generally around 40 to 50 items, which is, I believe, very obtainable. When you start, it's probably like 30 or something and you quest for more. So this is actually what my inventory looks like. It's not a clutter of garbage because I try to keep my storages and everything clean. Um, so yeah, this is my inventory. I don't actually hold a lot of stuff. When I'm grinding, obviously you get more stuff, but it's never really filled. So as an example, just by questing and playing the game, these are all inventory coupons and I have paid for like zero of them. And all of these are just given out from various events over the years, um, seasonals, which is a big one and events and just by playing the game. So, yeah, I can definitely max out other characters' inventories, and I don't think you should buy yours either because you just get them for free and buy questing. So save your money on inventory slots, and if you're going to spend it on something, it would be weight. But even then, for weight, um, obviously, there are a lot of things that can boost your weight up more, and more is obviously better. So first of all, like if you get a fairy... There's a Feathery Steps passive that allows you to carry past the 100%. So we'll talk about that later in the uh, like cash shop stuff. But generally, the 125% is basically like buying more weight. And for all of you grinders out there who have a full like weight from, you know, obviously grinding an hour or more. Let me show you something. And this is not really a secret. It's just something people do. So just in case you're a new player and didn't know how this worked. All right, let me show you. So everyone has a horse. And at this point, it's been like eight years. And I think it's really just something they should remove, like the weight limit for your horse. And here's how it works. Let's say you have 200 weight, right? And then you put like a thousand. Let me let me put a thousand of these. So we're above the weight limit and you're trying to put more on here. This is how it works. So obviously we have more of these in our inventory, but we can't add it, right? So when you get more trash loot, when you're grinding, here's how it works. You take this out and then you put them all in. You stack the item and then put them in. So anyway, that's a lot. That's how you do it. If you're a grinder, weight is, weight is definitely more important than inventory, in my opinion. But there's also ways to get around it by like maids and horse stacking. Stuff where you, well, I guess maids are a little on the cash shop side, but you can horse stack. So trying, just helping you get around things. I do think weight is important and you should buy it. But we talked about how you can get it from loyalties as well. So do I think it's important to buy all the weight 
on your character? No, I don't think so. But it is very helpful. So like I would buy it over the inventory. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is the um, where is it? Hold on. Character slot coupons. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I just wanted to give you some recommendations on how to get it uh, without spending like 600 pearls every time. So first of all, when when you first start out the game, I think they give you like six slots to make characters and there's like 32 total. You just get it over time. And for the most part, every month you can buy a character coupon with loyalties. It's like 10,000. So it's like 50 days. So like once every, let's just say two months, assuming you don't log in every day. And um, yeah, so like this resets once a month. If you don't, if you already got everything else you wanted, just buy the coupons and you're good to go. Also, if you are looking to actually just max out your character slots, uh, wait, definitely wait for the time when it's on sale. So like whenever a new character comes out or whenever they do some major patches, they generally tend to discount it pretty heavily. So buying it at full price, probably not the right play, but it you can get it for free in different ways. The next thing I wanted to talk about is being able to extract uh, crystals. So let me show you. Where is this thing? Uh, yeah, these Black Spirit Essences. You could buy these in the shop, or there's actually a way to craft it in-game, and it's like 50 million silver, which in 2024 is absolutely nothing. So I would definitely not recommend buying these essences to extract your expensive crystals. And even then, with the whole crystal change, and like you know how it used to be... Uh, certain types of crystals on your armor nowadays you just put it in like a full inventory bag so it's less relevant nowadays but if you have to extract something for some reason uh, there's a method to craft it and i believe you would go to the manufacturer tool and it's somewhere down there i don't actually remember where it was but somewhere around here you can craft these things so it's around 50 to 100 mil Definitely use silver over real money, obviously, and it's very good to go. Next thing I want to talk about is Elian's Tears. As we all know, this game has a system where if you die, you lose XP, sort of. And I get that for a new player. You're probably looking at this like, oh, no, if I die, I lose XP. Trust me when I say it doesn't happen often like every now and then there's probably like one death here and there because um you just like weren't paying attention when you're grinding but when you're pvping it doesn't matter at all like if you die to pvp you don't lose anything unless you're red that's a different story but even then i haven't bought any elian's tears in i guess i don't think really ever like I might have bought in a few here or there the first year the game came out, but then, like, all of these, this is literally what they give you for, like, free and just by events playing the game. So this is not something you should really buy, but just by playing the game, they give you a lot of free handouts. So if you are actually dying, like, thousands of times where you're actually needing this, I think that's a skill issue, and you should probably learn to uh, not do that. So with that said... Yeah, Elian's Tears, you just get them for free, and just by playing the game, uh, doing seasons gives you a lot as well, I believe. So, yeah, uh, don't die, <laughs> and don't buy them either, especially. So, also, if you're worried about XP, though, like, unless you get to, like, the higher levels past, like, 63, getting 1% isn't that long, but, like, the higher up you go... Um, it takes a little bit longer, but realistically, it's not that bad. So I think the realistic only time I would use it is past like 63. And even then, it's what, like an hour? But either way, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the next thing we have is energy potions. Oh, boy. I get that people are life skillers and energy potions look appealing on the shop. And you can buy bundles of them. So... They restore 50 energy, and they have a cooldown. So for all of you wondering, first of all, they have these potions in the game. So let me just show you. On the market, they have energy potions. 
Um, the way you get these is through Alliston in Velia. And if you have energy on your like other characters, you can convert them into potions at a like no, it's a weird rate. Like you have to spend 200 energy of on another character. And then it gives you one of these potions, which is 50. I know the 50 or like one to four ratio, it doesn't make sense, but you get to like convert it. So like if you have another character that's sitting on max energy and you're not going to do it with it, you might as well convert it into either silver or something that you can use for later. So buying these off the market, like it's not that bad. I know on NA, it looks like there's 9,000 orders, but if you put an order on like a hundred of them, I guarantee you it'll sell within or like your order will fill within a day or two so it's really not that bad and um yeah please don't buy energy potions off the market or like pearl shop market buy it off with silver or have batteries or characters that can convert them the next thing i wanted to talk about is specifically in the pet line the wizard gosfies and basically the way this one works is when you combine pets, um, let me show you an example of one. I'm not going to do anything, but here's how the exchange works. So if you pick a pet, mm, let's pick some random one. And then like you combine, you combine it with another one. I guess this is a bad example because I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, hold on. So when you combine pets of a certain tier, it gives you a percent, like this number will raise for a different one. I guess it would be a better example if I showed you at like uh, tier one or something. But every time you upgrade it, the tier will increase. And the Gospy has a higher chance, so you basically use less of a different pet. So it's kind of like when I click this and then the bird, it goes like 55% and so on. Uh, the Gospy just raises it. But realistically, it's not a big deal. Like, I would always go 100%. If you're going to spend real money on RNGing a pet to a higher tier, always go 100%. But at least on the market, I don't know if it is now, but like the past few days, uh, there actually were pets sitting on the market and you could just buy them. So definitely look out for that, especially during event times. And you should be able to get... Um, pets off the market and um especially certain ones where they can't be upgraded by the goss feed this is really weird so it tells you make sure to read it like certain ones are not able to be exchanged for the growth so um every pet does something different i have a video on explaining which ones are the ones to get in my opinion so when you see these sales where they're selling the triple ones i just I wouldn't recommend it trust me on that uh there are certain things you want to get these aren't it. These aren't even really functional as a pet. They're more just like upgrade materials. Um, so yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is under... Where is it? Miscellaneous. These two-hour compasses. Oh boy. If you buy these, please stop doing that. Because let me show you how to get this in-game. So these compasses is essentially like... Um, when you're traveling in the desert and ocean... Um, it'll show you your location. And so one item is the permanent one, which is the compass. It functions as the same thing you can buy, except it's permanent. It's a huge grind for it. Um, I know not everyone's ready for that one. But the thing you can actually buy off the market is these parts for the compass. And I know there's probably going to be some orders. Like There's only 10 orders. If you put a thing on, you'll get it within like an hour. I guarantee it. So these function as the same thing. You combine three of them and then it makes a compass for um, how long is it? Three days. So basically you spend two or three million silver in game and then get a three day one instead of two hours. Plus they also give these as events quite often. So like you see all these zero bought ever. I just got them from like in game rewards and stuff. So guarantee you. It's not worth buying those compasses for whatever reason. Um, yeah. You can make them in-game. Or you just grind out the permanent one. Next thing we have to talk about is under the... Where is it? Fairy line? Where is that? Fairy. 
So the Ornette's Dark Honey Wine. This thing is such a scam because basically this is the better version of like when you're power leveling your fairy. You know how you have to get it to max level, right? So that the Pearl Shop one basically boosts it super fast. But instead of spending real life money, what you would do is get these things like the Sweet Honey Wine. And then you could just buy them off the market and honey wine. Yeah, you just buy them. I think it also uses green gear that you could just give to the fairy as well. But like if you just want something to get it done really easily without having to buy green gear, this is how you do it. And you just buy these and then you feed it to your fairy. They level up the same way. So definitely don't spend real life money for it. And it's just get it in game. It's a lot easier. It'll save you money in the long run. And it's very helpful. So I think those are some of the important picks that I would tell you to kind of stay away against. It's not that they're bad items. It's just you can get them in game for zero dollars, which is nice. So I guess we'll talk about a lot of other things and my thoughts and opinions of certain things. So obviously, as we know, um, costumes are definitely a big thing in basically every game. And are they pay to win? Technically, yes, it is like straight up. I'm just telling you what it's like. But if I've always had the stance of if you're buying an outfit because you like how it looks and it's cosmetic, I don't care what you do with it. It's your money. It's whatever. Um, the things that do or same with like house furnishings and all this stuff. If it doesn't really affect me, it's not a big deal. Same with like course and everything. So, yeah, this is one of those things also. If you are going to like dye your outfits, which is a very important thing for a lot of people, like being able to look good is a huge thing. Just get the thingy. It comes with your value pack, I believe. And um, instead of like RNGing, don't buy these dyes. Just get the value pack and functions the same thing. So yeah, in case any of you have never known you can dye your gear, here's how it works. You hit your J button on PC pick the outfit piece and then you get all of these colors you click a number and then the Merv's palette when you have your thingy on you get to sort through all these dyes and then it's good it's fun right cool so yeah th i hope those tips helped you with um at least saving some money and if there are some things you don't know how to do or you're wondering if you can get that i might have missed in this video feel free to ask drop in the comments or anything and so yeah hopefully that helped Thought it was pretty informative and i was definitely talking to some of my friends about this who are new to newer to the game and they're just like oh what should i get and what shouldn't i get like if i were to have an x amount of budget with this game uh what are the important things i do have a video on like my pearl shop guide basically if you were to spend x amount of money what are the highlights you should get so that's like the opposite of this video where we talked about things you should just avoid um, yeah, I'll leave that in the description. Hopefully it's enjoyable. And yeah, with that said, I'm out for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I am out. Peace.